Hey, it's Dougley here again. In this video, I will show you how to do a research talk for academic position job interview. First of all, we need to be clear about the objectives of a job talk. The number one objective is not to demonstrate your competence. It is not another defense of your work. The number one objective of a job talk is to persuade the employer that you are the good fit for the position being advertised. You must demonstrate your ability to contribute to the institution, your ability and willingness to collaborate as a potential colleague. What matters is not only your qualification, but also your maturity, flexibility, and maybe your teaching ability. The fact that you are selected to do the interview means that the employer has already accepted your qualification. Now it's time to focus on something more specific. Therefore, I suggest to include three key parts in the typical job interview. The first part is about them. It is about the institution. It is about the position being advertised. Before we talk about our qualifications, we'd better talk about them first. There are two reasons to do that. First, it will demonstrate your enthusiasm for the job. The employer needs to know you are serious about the job. You really like the job and you will likely stay if they hire you. They don't want to hire a person who will likely leave after a few years after they have made investment in you. Second, your knowledge on the institution, on the position, may also demonstrate your ability to do some basic research. In this part, you want to imagine you are already part of them. Think in their position. In order to do that, before you go to the interview, you need to research the position and the institution as much as possible. You want to find out what is going on in this institution. What are the goals of the department or the college? You may want to identify at least one challenge they are facing. What can you do to help them to achieve their goal? Provide them your vision for the future. The key is you want to demonstrate that you have done your homework. You want to make the audience believe that you understand this department, understand its goal, and you are eager to make a contribution. Preparing one presentation and hope it will work for job talks for different positions will not work. You always need to tailor your talk to the specific position and make it clear you really want the job. In the second part, you talk about yourself. You want to highlight your strengths that is relevant to the specific position. You do not need to talk everything you have done. You want to be selective and focused. Limit your scope. Make sure the audience can understand your work in the limited amount of time. At the least, you should make your introduction and summary understandable to the most of the audience in the room. You want to demonstrate that you are a good teacher. You are able to hold the attention of a room. Even if the advertised position may have no teaching responsibilities. Of course, you can add some technical details into the results section to demonstrate that you are a real expert. Here, the key is to demonstrate that you are a major player in your field. You have connections in your discipline. You understand the funding mechanisms you might go for. You are independent. You have your own ideas. You could present your ideas energetically 
and you are excited to get your ideas into the public realm. In this part, you may also add some personal stories, add some human elements, and thus make your presentation more influential. And last, you want to talk about the fit. Can you fit in this particular environment? What are your solutions for the challenges they are facing? In this part, you need to demonstrate your collegiality. You need to know your audience. You need to be interested in your future colleagues. It may be a good idea to find inspirations in other people's work or to connect your disciplinary interest with community outreach. You need to situate your research interest in the context of the host institution. How might your research agenda bridge with other faculty members in this institution? How might your research interest fit into this department? In summary, in a typical job talk, it's not all about you. You need to understand your audience and speak to them based on who they are, what they do, and how they defined the job at. If you don't care enough to do that, you don't really deserve the job. One more thing, you want to be strict with the time limit they give you, and you want to make it clear. Are you expected to do a pure research talk, or it should also include a teaching component? Different institutions may have different requirements. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Liu with Research Tips for the Underdogs. Until next time, let's be well prepared for the next job interview.